Oh my god, that's so <laughs> sick! <laughs> this is I mean, this is so far past what I was expecting. I, I mean this seriously. If it wasn't for the inspiration to even like learn about video or how to do it, like I wouldn't have been able to pay for any of my bad stuff. Today, we're building a computer for the greatest YouTuber of all time. Raise your hand if YouTube was a big part of your life growing up. I'm not kidding. Put a little O in a forward slash if YouTube or the people on it have influenced your life in any way. If they have, let me know how. I would love to read about it. There were a few iconic videos that made YouTube what it is today, but one of the most popular ones was how to be ninja. This video was the beginning of a very long and successful YouTube career for Ryan Higa. He was the most subscribed YouTube channel for 677 days straight and on a more personable level. If you don't know who Ryan Higa is, you live under a rock. This man basically pioneered being a YouTuber. All I'm saying is that YouTube better be paying this man a pension because without him, YouTube would not be what it is today. Aside from that, he was a huge part of my childhood and I imagine for many of you as well. So anyways, as you guys know, I stream fairly regularly on Twitch, which is actually how I got to meet Paco, who is in a lot of Ryan's videos. A while back, Paco reached out to me on Twitter asking, are you interested in making a gaming computer for Ryan Higa for content? I said yes immediately. Ryan is the entire reason I even got into video production. I begged someone who I didn't even know well at the time to teach me how to edit videos so that I could make videos like him. No, literally like him. Everybody was Kung Fu fighting. <laughs> Listen, back then parodies were a huge thing on YouTube and you could guarantee view. So a week went by and I didn't hear back from Paco and then I got recommended a stream on Twitch that looked really familiar. Ryan was streaming on Twitch. I was shocked when I clicked on it because he was only streaming to a couple hundred people, but I later found out that's because he wanted to keep his streams low key. That's really not the case anymore because now thousands of people tune in to his live streams. I noticed he was having some issues on stream with his computer, so I shot him a DM and... What up Christopher, by the way? Wait, did I reply to you? I saw you sent me something yesterday. Give me a sec. I've freaking, that's, I appreciate it, man. Dude, 100% you can make a video, dude. Like, you don't even have to ask, bro. So since I would have never gone down this path or considered making YouTube a job, let's make this man the best PC I've ever made. So I say we're gonna build him a computer, but the problem is, I can't order many parts. Unfortunately, with the issues that are still happening here in the United States, it is impossible to find anything that is computer part related. Fortunately, Micro Center is still persisting through these conditions. So I just have to make a quick, short, four and a half hour drive down to LA, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so we are finally here at the Micro Center and we can't get in. Well, we can't get in right now. The way they're doing things is, first of all, you need to make an appointment. So if you show up and you don't have a mask, you'll be turned away immediately. But after you talk to the person at the front, you give you a time limit and then they eventually will let you inside the store when enough people leave. I'm so sorry. Oh. That works too. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'll take. I'll take it. If, I mean, if there is another one of that, if there's another one of that, I'll take. Okay. Uh, yeah. We'll. Ju I'll just take that one then. Okay, so now that we have the parts, the important thing we have to worry about now is the art. Now I actually take the art very seriously. The reason for that is these builds are supposed to encapsulate who the content creator is and it's supposed to be something that they can look at and be proud of. I know it might seem intuitive to just try and find the most popular videos that the creator has ever made and then just slap that on as the art. Here's the thing though, being one myself, I understand that not every content creator loves the thing that they are most known for. For example, if you actually watch some of Ryan's videos and you know a little bit about his history, then you would understand that one of the things that he is not necessarily a fan of, as well as myself, is how YouTube changed when it became more corporate. Back when Google 
about YouTube, they introduced a few new things. One, the ability to make money with advertisements from other companies. Two, enforcing copyright law. And number three, the downfall of musicians and skit-based humor on YouTube. Now I have and always will think that the way YouTube is now is very unfair for certain types of creators. The system does not pay very well to their type of content. So what I'm making sure to do with all of this art is to try and reference videos that came from a more friendly time on YouTube. So if we go to his channel, what I want to do, kind of like what we talked about earlier in the video, is showcase some of the older videos like how to be ninja, how to be emo, how to be gangster, all the older videos that, you know, didn't have to have Fortnite or bleh. Anyways, this is what I'm thinking. If we go to each of the videos, there is a screen grab for every moment that I think is iconic, that helps reference the video in a way that people just really understand. Oh, we're not, we're not using this one. But then lastly, for the back plate, I wanna try and incorporate something that is very epic. I like to have the largest piece of art to be something that is very, very cool looking. You haven't even seen the best part. Wait, there's more than, oh my God. <laughs> so, since we know that Ryan is a huge fan of Naruto, anyone that pays attention to any of his videos in the past knows this, I wanna try and reference one of the most iconic moves from the Naruto series, which is the Rasengan, in the same way that Ryan portrays it himself in one of his own videos. In the How To Be Ninja 2.0 remake, it is a very similar scene to Naruto charging at Sasuke in Naruto Shippuden to the way Ryan is charging at Sean Fujiyoshi in this screen grab. So with that said, we are going to send all of these references over to Sasha, which if you don't know by now, that is the name of the artist that I like to use for these panels. She is an amazing artist. You can catch her at twitch.tv slash Please check her out. She is phenomenal. And then obviously without V1 tech to laser print, laser cut, and RGB out the entire thing, it would not be possible. Please if you like any of the art that you're going to see in this computer go to v1tech.com they always have a sale i have a code it's y-e-e -E. i don't get any money for it it literally just gives you a discount not sponsored i really just like the products i buy them for myself and for friends please just check it out they're amazing for the processor, we are using a Ryzen 9 3900X. This processor is the same processor that I use now when it comes to rendering out videos, which I'm pretty sure Ryan is going to do at some point, if not for his own YouTube channel, for some other projects. And it is really, really nice when it comes to rendering. Processor go brr. For the motherboard, we are putting it inside an X570. What is, which board is this? I actually don't even know what board I got. This is an MEG from MSI. Oh, this is a big boy board. Okay, it's got individual bulbs for the LEDs it's not diffused which is the same reason why I got this specific RAM for the RAM we're using 32 gigabytes each of them 8 gigabyte sticks so they fill up all of the dim slots Corsair Dominator has an individual LED RGB look I like it a lot I think it looks really clean and as you're starting to see a lot of these parts are black because Ryan's color scheme is black white and green i've never seen a color scheme like that in my life maybe nvidia kind of for storage we have an 860 qvo by samsung for the graphics card we're using an rtx 2080 super for the cooler we have a kraken z73 i love the kraken z series so far because obviously like i've said before there is an led screen on the mount of the pump, I think it looks dope. And if you've seen it before, the reason I like this is because it can have gifts on it. It sounds super stupid and super trivial, but there is nothing more fun than putting on a moving logo, a meme or whatever the hell that you wanna put on top of this. And I have an idea of what I wanna put on this when the build is done. For all the extra stuff, we have a lot of NZXT RGB lighting. We have NZXT Q2s. We're gonna see how many of these we can fit inside the system. We have a bunch of Air RGB 2s because we want to get as many RGB fans as we can possibly get inside this thing. For the case, it's not obvious at this point, we're using an NZXT H710i. It's just a really easy case to mount some more art onto, which you'll see here in a second. For the power supply, we're actually using a power supply from NZXT. We're using the C850. Um, it is a gold or 80 plus gold certified power supply. 
We're gonna try it out for the first time and see what it feels like. It's got a really simple, clean design. I like it, so we're going to give it a shot today. It is, what is this, semi-modular or fully modular? Oh, it's fully modular. Okay, dope. You guys ready to see the art? First thing we're gonna take a look at. We have the GPU backplate for the RTX 2080 Super. For the SSD covers, we have specific references, and each of these are screen grabs from the videos. This one should be obvious. This one's How to Be Gangster. We have Ryan from How to Be Emo, some of the best eyeliner I've ever seen. And this screen grab is specifically from where we will be teaching you how to be ninja. So the reason we actually get this printed out, this GPU support bracket, is so that we can help counteract that sag because I think something that looks really gross in a lot of high-end builds is when you get this giant graphics card, this powerful system, but then you have it hanging off to the side like pants in 2008. Last but not least. <laughs> oh, this looks so clean. We're gonna play some music now and we're gonna get started. Here for a minute, gotta head out. I swear I'm not spying. Sure! This guy's trying to see what his computer looks like before it's even done. How do you want to do this? <laughs> you know, well, here, let's, let's see. Oh, do you have, oh, I guess we need a knife. Little, huh? I guess we need a knife. Okay. Be it. How much did you see? What's up, man? <laughs> How much did you see, though? I didn't see anything other than the boxes on the table. All right. Yeah, All we right. just need a knife. Okay. And then we can take a look. Whoa, wait, what? <laughs> wait, what? I might. You need help? I might need some help. Wait, let's okay. see. You pulled out. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. What the heck? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You got it? I think so. Yeah, Dude, that doesn't even look like a computer. <laughs> what? It's not supposed to. Not like oh the regular goodness. stuff. Is that good? Yeah, this what is... the hell? Check it out. Okay. That is sick. What we have back here. So oh this... my goodness. Do you, you do know what this is from? This is from Hot, the remake of How to Be Ninja, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is the one thing I did see. <laughs> That's sick. The artist I like to work with, her name is uh, Shiritsu, uh, Sasha. And she helps me with a lot of the art. And a lot of the things that we like to do is we try to tell a story uh -huh. with all the art that we get done inside and oh my take goodness. a look at the inside oh my goodness this so, is so nice so we have three ssd covers all with different screen grabs from videos that i feel like meant the most to the two of us me and sasha and hopefully that kind of oh, pay tribute to the history of yeah, you, you on youtube 
how to be ninja, uh, well, how to be gangster and emo. Uh, I don't know what this one is. This one's a uh, screen grab from the moment she put on sleeves. We were trying to take the sleeves off, but from the oh. How to Be Ninja, it's, I think it's specifically oh, it's from How to Be Ninja. You Damn, how to be ninja. Color. So, oh my goodness. First thing, obviously, to notice, uh, we noticed you actually have a very unique color scheme that you have white, black, and green. So we yeah. try to incorporate all of those colors. So each of the cables here are custom sleeved paracord cables. Um, you have the 24 pin, the seven uh, pins for the graphics card. The eight pins up here for the uh, for the processor, and every single bit in here we tried to make red, white, or sorry, green, <laughs> white, and black. I still Dude, haven't slipped. That's sick. So if you take a look closer at the graphics card, we try to even get some more references in here. Oh yeah, little fruit ninja. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No PTSD, but <laughs> that's freaking awesome. Yeah. The green ball. Yeah, and this one specifically, we tried to get the watermelon oh, clean cut open. We wow. have a little shout out here to the uh, Hidden Leaf Village. And then <laughs> one more thing we wanted to add is kind of a, a wing towards the future. So we know obviously that you've been streaming a little bit more on Twitch mm -hmm. and that you're, you're definitely a gamer after seeing some of the Valorant play. <laughs> so we wanted to get some black and green gamer head, um, headsets in there just to kind of incorporate, you know, looking at what you're doing now and trying to keep it. Dude, this is so today. sick. I was like, I was like, how am I going to, I mean, like I was trying to think like, okay, maybe I should learn computer parts to react nah. so i was like how am i gonna react to that? but this is not like it's like art yeah that's the, so that, that's one of the things i like to do like with these builds i want whoever is going to be using them to mm -hmm. look at it and be like that's me like Dude. that's that that's what i did that's like an encapsulation of who i am and that's why like what we wanted to do here is try to get some of the older stuff incorporated here at the front that's awesome and then on the back we tried to like bring it up to some of the well maybe not newer but some of the wow. new stuff but you haven't even seen it with the best part okay sorry Oh my god, that's so <laughs> sick! Holy crap! So a, a lot of this art oh my god. is addressable RGB. <laughs> so these colors can be changed. So let's uh -huh. say you wanted to green it out, you wanted to white it out, you wanted to black it out. All of that's possible. This is so dope. And if we wait here just a little bit longer, we should be able to see the display for the temperature change to something different. Oh. Yeah. What the hell? There we go. How did you... So you had to make that yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, I so we wanted to try to incorporate like a little bit more of the Holy green. Holy crap! <laughs> this has to go. I have to make it. <laughs> I have to find a way to put it on stream. However you want to do it. Oh, and like let's. So I know that you and I both deal with the wonderful experience that is Cox Communication. Oh my god! So <laughs> this yep. I went Sponsored. for this motherboard specifically because let's say you're in a game uh -huh. and it cuts uh -huh. out. So if you want to. You can screw this little antenna into the motherboard for Wi-Fi. What I do when Cox cuts out, put in this to be Cox stuff. No, so I get, I pull out my phone, I turn oh, on the hotspot, and I'm like, wow. I gotta finish this game. Wow. So if you ever want to, that is so <laughs> clutch. Um, as far as you know, the the computer goes. I mean, I, I talked about this on your Cuda board. This is so crazy. Um, I I literally would not have this job if it wasn't for. I mean, I know you probably get this all the time, but like. If it wasn't for you just like putting up videos, I, I I remember my friend was learning how to do Premiere Pro when I was like 13. And I begged him, I was like, please teach me, I want to do that stuff. So I tried to do the whole, you know, be funny thing. I couldn't do it, it couldn't work out. And then eventually, like 10 years later, when, um, when my dad got sick, I had to quit my job and my parents didn't like seeing me not do anything. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, oh, I have I, could make videos again and like see how that goes and then like, randomly when I got interested in the tech I saw a video get like a thousand views instead of like 50 so I'm yeah like, oh I can do this and then it kind of reinvigorated the fire to do this whole YouTube thing and I, I mean this seriously if it wasn't for the inspiration to even like learn about video or how to do it like I wouldn't have been able to pay for any of my dad's stuff like I would like my family would have been screwed so <laughs> Dude, I that is crazy. I so mean, as much as I appreciate you gifting the hundred subs, I wanted no, this computer okay, that to wasn't be a gift for me to you. Well, I thank you so much, man. <laughs> for real, I appreciate thank it. You. It's this is I mean this is so far <laughs> past what I was expecting. Oh my god! And it is. I probably should have left this. I'm gonna make it so. We'll try our best to keep this clean. <laughs> Anyways, that is the video 
I didn't realize Ryan was an absolute sweetheart. That guy was so cool. But um, I hope you guys found the video creative, entertaining, or informative in any way, shape, or form. This is my favorite PC I've gotten to build so far. Anyways, as always, have a great day.